this summer. The heat really started in July, and obviously here we are in August. You can see that what the temperatures have done so far this August. Remember, that was nice this past Tuesday. Seems like forever ago. Only a high of 94, only below normal day this August. And even the days, the other days we were in the 90s, actually ended up being above normal. And the hottest temperatures we've had so far this summer, the last several days, 109, 109, and 108. And when you average out this August, it's hotter than the summer of 2011 so far by 0.1 degrees, by a tenth of a degree. So it's close, but we're doing it so far. Just barely hotter than that summer of 2011 so far. And the other thing I think will surpass 2011 on is the number of 105 degree days or higher. In 1980, we had 28 of them. That summer was terrible as well. 2011, we had 19 days. So far this summer, we've had 18. I think we'll add to that list tomorrow, maybe even into Monday, which would put us at 20. And that definitely surpasses 2011. In 1951, we had 17. And around out the top five, 1952 had 14 days. So we'll see what the rest of August has in store. It is still plenty warm out there right now. 97. In fact, it's obviously hot. 97 in Fort Worth, 99 in Dallas right now. Big ridge of high pressure continues to dominate our weather. It's also the reason why California is about to get soaked. And unfortunately so, it's going to be too much rain in too short a time in California due to that uh, hurricane that's going to move up that way. But it's because the flow around this high pressure system, kind of a clockwise flow, keeps things high and dry underneath that high pressure system. Maybe some rain for South Texas, but not the rest of Texas. But there you can see the rainfall headed to California from Hurricane Hillary over the next 24 to 48 hours. Right now it's off the coast of Baja. It's a Category 1 hurricane. It does continue to weaken, at least in terms of intensity. But that's not going to change the rainfall situation for California as it moves up to the north. So it will continue to weaken as it moves up into the cool waters off the Baja, off of Southern California. It'll be a tropical storm as it's kind of over San Diego to L.A. Some gusty winds certainly possible for Southern California. California, especially the higher elevations, but the primary concern is the rain. Big swath of flood watches stretching from the Texas Mexico border all the way up to portions of Oregon and uh, Idaho from the storm. And here's the rainfall projections for California, Nevada, Arizona, six to 10 inches in the mountainous areas outside of LA and San Diego. Same areas that we just got inundated with snow this past winter. Also the Sierra, you know, four to six inches. Death Valley is going to see a lot of rain, probably more rain than we've had this entire summer so far. But like I said, unfortunately, it's going to fall too quickly and too short of an amount of time. And they're going to be dealing with flooding and mudslide. And it's going to be a, a pretty bad situation in portions of California in the next 24 to 48 hours. For us, it's dry, warm, and Muggy 84, very hot, dry, and breezy. 109 my high tomorrow. Remember that record is 107. Could set a record on Monday, too, with a high of 106, and that would be our you know, 20th day at or above uh, 105 degrees there. Then temps go down just a bit, obviously still well above 100 degrees, and we could have even more 105-plus days uh, there later on this week and into the weekend. But by that next week, maybe a little relief, slight drop in the temps, maybe some rain back in the forecast. Hmm. Emphasis on maybe. Only 100. Only 100.